Well, I'm getting going. Uh, sorry about your videos yesterday, everybody. Um, you know, I had a number of calls over the last few weeks just talking about general stuff in the winter and how, you know, how big our stable is and how uh, other stables like Burks or Alanya's or anybody has dispersal sales. And, and we have some once in a while we'll sell four or five or something. We sold seven or eight uh, a month ago, but none of our big generators, right? And that's, it's a tough discussion. It's a really tough discussion to have with people. And I had some of our major clients that own big chunks of some of those horses saying, listen, um, they can't stay forever. And I guess they can't, right? We, we went from a medium sized stable to a pretty big stable and it can get pretty stressful from time to time, pretty stressful indeed. And I do believe that um, there is merit in that, in selling some of the horses. So I will be looking over a roster to see what makes sense and what doesn't. I can tell you right now that racing two horses in the open in Ontario may not be the best way to go. So does that mean that Locatelli or White Tiger are one of the horses that are up? Yo Mister is on his way back. Uh, we have Spitfire and Carter Michael Dio and a host of three-year-olds that are about to qualify that may or may not be okay. So a lot to go over and a lot of input from people. I do appreciate it. Uh, it helps a lot because this is a time of year that gets very, very stressful for me. And, um, you know, I don't always see every angle. So that being what it may, um, I will over the next little while review some of that. And um, and possibly this week, we'll have some more stuff for sale. So the week we had last week wasn't bad when we were able to race. Obviously, Northfield Park has been a killer. The last two weeks for us not being able to race these horses has been really, really hard. And uh, I appreciate everybody's patience, but we should have everything back moving forward uh, today. We're training some three-year-olds right now. I'm on my way to the barn right now, and then we are going to uh, train the two-year-olds tomorrow. So we have, uh, last week we had uh, Renegade Gypsy who raced well. A white Tiger made uh, made a break at the wire at the at the start. It was a pretty contentious point. Uh, Randy Waples had quite a rant on Woodbine about it, and I can't say that I disagree. I agree with everything he said. It's it just seems to be a very redundant rule that isn't necessary. But at the end of the day, it is right now. So uh, it's there right now, and he was set back. Um, <clears throat> Spitfire Overseas also made a break on Monday night. That was upsetting, but Locatelli raced pretty good. Tech Song Soprano again, Sean this week, finishing second, raced really well on Wednesday. That was our only starter because Northfield Park was closed. I guess I should, uh, I sent in a video yesterday, but I'll clarify. The rail and just off the rail at Northfield Park is uh, a little wet, a little damp, and they're punching through. So I walked on it yesterday, actually, myself with the race secretary and said, listen, if you got to get horses on it to pound it down anyway. There's hundreds of horses here that jog and train every day. Uh, what if we just put some pylons along the rail and uh, and let the horses train outside those, pound down the rest of the track, you guys work on the inside, and then I don't see any reason why we can't race on Tuesday. So that's the plan for right now, I believe. Uh, time is on my side. was very, very good last week, as was Carter Michael Dio. Now, Carter Michael Dio is out of the numbers of five. Another horse I could be talked into moving, I suppose, uh, when it comes to that number is a 7 to even 12. If you can get around uh, Dayton, uh, Miami Valley, if you can get around Yonkers, these are all good things, uh, but some ifs with them. So another horse that, that could make that list. Uh, ready for landing was, was very disappointing the other night. His blood did not come back that bad. His scope wasn't bad. He just raced bad. Made a break for no reason in the first turn. So we'll see what comes of that. Uh, but our night was saved by Collector, who looked very good. One, James drove him great, and two, he looked very, very good. And speaking of James, congratulations to him. Uh, wanting, won a ton of accolades the other night at the O'Brien Awards. Obviously well-deserved. Uh, driver of the year, three years in a row, well-deserved. And then the driver, as you can imagine, on a number of uh, award-winning horses there also. We finished off our week uh, with... No, uh, we didn't finish it off. Uh, Crantini finished second. He raced really well. I thought Patrick the Piranha raced well also. Beat a length and three quarters in 52 with the wire. I thought he raced really, really well. Um, and then that night, Stay Special. Looked awesome. She's never looked better. There's another horse jumping out of the non-winners of two, into the non-winners of three, a little deeper division, a little deeper into the pool. Um, and another horse that we could potentially look at moving. These are not things I want to do. 
But at the end of the day, there has to be capital running in and out of the state. You guys know that. Um, uh, then we have Miss, what, Miss Rockadelli and what a mission again. Three weeks, what a mission was canceled. Uh, and hopefully that'll be the last time that'll happen. Kenobi was a big winner on uh, Kenobi was a big winner on Sunday and looked good in Saratoga for his debut there. So that is this week in a nutshell. I have uh, obviously run through these pretty quick. A uh, little under the weather. I just want to get the week started, to be honest. And I am here now. So with that, I'm going to let you go. That is your opening for the week. Uh, that is your opening for the week, and I will talk to you all very soon. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Take care, and hopefully you have a great weekend.